Hello, good afternoon everybody and welcome to the Brewery Field of Spennymoor. Look to continue their unbeaten start of 2022 here against managerless Boston United. We've all just about recovered from last Saturday's dramatic and action-packed victory in the FA Trophy against Plymouth Parkway that saw more than the last 16 of the competition. Three changes from that dramatic victory in the trophy last weekend in from Luke Spokes, Frank Mulhern and the debut for new signing Jordan Thulis from Geisley announced this morning. Uh, they take the place of Brad Abbotts who dropped to the bench, Adrian Amoke also dropped to the bench, Ryan Hall who's out with a minor injury. Who's over the ball and gets us underway with a long ball towards the far side which James Curtis should get underneath, he's going to head on. Spokes takes it down, not all that well, it's back in the opposite direction where Curtis deals with it up and under onto this near side towards Taylor who managed to keep it play really nicely against Tootle but Tootle's back pass is not the best and Thulis can nip it ahead of Shields Thulis inside the penalty area crosses it into the back pass uh, takes it down shoots towards goal off the line and it's cleared away not only far into the keeper's hands in it no it's not Taylor now shoots over the top and in Spreading for the lead it's taken 29 seconds and Glenn Taylor scores his 19th goal of the season in all competitions A blistering start from Boston's kickoff. Glenn Taylor did really well on this near side to flick the ball on. Two little back pass towards Shield for short. And Thulis, with his first touch in Benny Wall shirt, nipped it away away from Dan's near side, crossing towards the back post. Well, Hearn was unmarked. He took it down. His shot was cleared off the line by Duxbury. It bounced around towards Taylor, just lifted it over the top of the defenders and the goalkeeper into the back of the net. 29 seconds it takes for Spennywall to take the lead. In it comes towards the near post, header clear by Pai towards Thulis, who's really quick to react to get there first. But ricochets off of Ramshaw, but allegedly by the use of an arm. I don't think it was deliberate, but it didn't have anyone on the attacker, so bottom line, a free kick in a very good position, actually. With his left foot, Burns there offering the right. Here it comes, Lee over the wall and just wide. He took a nick, I think, off the inside of the wall and goes behind for a corner. That can't be far away at all. Set up. Everyone crowding around the goalkeeper, a very congested six yard area. In comes the corner, it's floated towards the back post, towards Joe Tate, who wins the header, but we only put it behind. A good chance, one quite a free header, there's a lot of bodies in and around him. Tate, Tate got his head to the ball and it probably fell maybe a yard or so wide of the keeper's right hand post. But not really back into the action. The keeper came for that one, we're never going to win it, and Tate has to help him out. What a shot come in here, Richardson jumps into a challenge, lovely tackle from Kenton Richardson. And it's cleared towards Mulhern, heads it infield towards Ramshaw, won't quite get there. And now Boston try and work it down the far side with Byrne. Crosses from deep towards Hansen, back to go inside the penalty area, lays it back, round Curtis, Leasley has it, cross comes in, it's surely tapping, it's in. Hansen equalises. Good football down the left hand side from Boston. And the pullback was on a plate for James Hansen from eight or nine yards. Through the two or three Spinnymore players in between the man and the man of the goal, through the goalkeeper as well. We eventually had a quiet game, James Hansen. He's on a spot we needed to be. And was never really gonna miss from there. Come to him and couldn't really afford to do so. And Curtis will end like really nice pass off to Glenn Taylor there. Down line towards Ramshaw. He's a penalty here now. Oh lovely little turn inside his man. He's in for Ramshaw. It's good to take from the goalkeeper, pushes it away. Maybe should have squared that one rather than having a shot himself, Rob Ramshaw. Seems to be in a lot of space. And now Boston will try and break, but Elliot can't keep the ball in play. That's a really good position for Spenny. Rob Ramshaw with a lovely little knockback, I think, from Luke Shields. He rolls it out towards James Curtis. Jackson's has to be sort of chopping trees down behind the goal by Rock. Something I've never been asked for in a football commentary. And that's to pull it through to Ramshaw. He's in there, he shoots towards goal, pulls up by the goalkeeper, bounces around and clear behind for a corner. Okay, absolutely nothing that ball forward. I'm not sure he played. I think it was Luke Spokes with that ball over the top, looking for uh, Ramshaw. Very nearly for Spenny Moore. Taylor, Duxbury heads that one clear towards Hansen. Takes it down, turns really nicely. And lays it on towards Leesley on his left foot. Can he get across it? He can towards the middle. Curtis gets something on it. Towards Elliott. Oh, he's completely wasted the chance. And there's the penalty area for Danny Elliott. Which manager rolls the dice first. That could be a good ball. Towards Taylor, who might get in here. Shields had it wasn't the best header. Shoots and a 
tight angle. It bounces off the goalkeeper towards Ramshaw. His first reaction is another good save. He's near post by the goalkeeper. Again, at a tight angle, that shot from Ramshaw came in. And a save from, from Dewhurst. He got just something on it, put it behind for a corner. He loses out of the ball in the air. And it's back with Boston once again on the far side to Ferguson. One on one with Thulis. He's beating him towards the byline. Can he get across him this time? He can. It fizz into middle. Elliot heads it just wide. Keeper was rooted to his spot there. And Elliot's head, he's had two in about three minutes now. That one was closer. Throwing from Richardson in towards Taylor. Can he flick on towards Chandler? He can. Can he get a shot in? Edge the penalty. He does. He drives it. Really good save from the goalkeeper. Pushes it away towards his right hand side. That was definitely for the bottom corner. That's really everybody. Two body, two body. Should be in front of it. He's going to be by Fosso. He's beating his man as he towards the far side. I don't think he quite has. And it should get cleared away from there. I think it will. Will that be that? Not quite. In fact, yes, it will. And a few heads in hands for both sets of players, particularly Spennymore, who huffed and puffed. Both sides did. But both sides just cancelled each other out. Not much quality in the game, apart from in the occasional burst here and there. I don't think it's like that too many complaints. Neither side did enough to lose the game. 